And now to more of our, my exclusive interview with Jen Sturger, the New York Jets game day entertainer, got caught up in that sexting scandal with Brett Favre. So many of you weighed in on what you saw. There was plenty of praise, some criticism. But when we spoke, Sturger insisted that she's not a victim. What's hurt the most, what she regrets the most, is what the story did to her family. A man walked up to my mother that she worked with at one of her schools and asked her what it was like to have Brett Favre's grandbabies. Yeah. What'd she say? What could she say? Nothing. It hurts people that didn't ask to be involved in my, in my life and be put in the spotlight. It hurts my family. My father gets confronted at, you know, neighborhood barbecues because of what his daughter's dealing with. My sister, who's just, you know, graduated nursing school and got her first nursing job, has to go and people look at her name badge and go, oh, you related to Favre, girl. <laughs> it's her sister. What's she supposed to say? So what did you tell your parents when this broke? That nothing had happened. They know that. Somebody called your dad, right? And he said, he, he, yeah. you better not see Brett Favre in a dark alley. Oh. Someone called my dad and asked how I was doing. My dad didn't think he was giving an interview. And my father said what any father in their right mind would, and that's just wanting to protect their kid. After the scandal erupted last August, the NFL launched an investigation. It concluded that Sturger did nothing wrong, but fined far $50,000 for failing to fully cooperate with the probes. You did go to the NFL. I cooperated with the NFL. What did you want to happen there? I just came in and I was a witness for them, that's all. I had no stake in it. I was asked to cooperate, I was compelled to cooperate, I obliged. I was a witness, that's it. But there have been reports that when you met with uh, the commissioner, Mr. Goodell, that uh, you didn't think he was taking this all that seriously. I never said that. How did you think he was handling it? I think he handled it the way he was supposed to. It's a league matter, it's not for me to, not for me to judge. It's a league matter. I've heard that statement a lot in the last couple of months. It's a league matter. It's a league issue. But you don't sound happy about it. It's a league issue. How do you feel about facing Hellraiser in the next uh, round? I fought Hellraiser last year. It's going to be another good fight. And despite a tough 2010, Sturger is back in the ring, on camera, doing what she loves most. I knew what I was getting myself into working in sports. You know, it's the boys club. But you haven't been scared off it. You want to keep on doing it, right? Damn right. Damn right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure we get that same mic flag. Up. It's something I love doing. I'm passionate about sports. You did a fabulous job, and we'll see you in the next round. All right, thank you. What Good do you luck. want to happen next? To go back to work. To be happy. To be able to get on the internet and not be bombarded with nasty headlines. For people to get a chance to see the real me, to get to know the real me again, and for me to be the real me again. And you can watch the whole interview on abcnews.com.